The official launch of the 2022 Secondary Schools Football League was held today and the return to play will be different as one of the staples of the local sporting calendar is officially back. Ken Fuentes has more. The Secondary Schools Football League two-year hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic will be officially over on Friday night, September, with Southern Rivals Presentation College and Anaparima College playing in an exhibition for the Tiger Tanks Cup at the Atto Bolden Stadium from 4 p.m. President of the SSFL, Mareri Gonzalez, says while they cannot breathe a sigh of relief, it is important to understand the role of the league in the all-round development of its student athletes. It is of paramount importance that we understand first and foremost that our main priority is to ensure the promotion, development and advancement and the nurturing and support and guidance of our students first and foremost. And while they are engaged in a sporting discipline, and in this case, football, we will also, as a responsible and a professional organization, create and continue to create this platform for them to showcase their talents. He added, the league will continue to properly plan for a better tomorrow. It was also announced Minister of Education, Dr. Nian Gadsby Dolly, will be the patron of the league for the 2022 season. While the SSFL president also outlined a new program aimed at improving the girls' game with an under-13 division in collaboration with FIFA and the TTFA. This year's league will be played in a two-group format and Assistant Secretary Lawrence Sipasad explained how the format was derived. We look at the standings at the end of the 2019 season and we took all odd numbers, first, third, fifth, seventh, etc. And you place them in one group. And then all even numbers were placed in the other group without considering who was in odd group and who was in the even group. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports. In her remarks, Minister of Education Dr. Nian Gadsby Dolly says the legacy of the Secondary Schools Football League should be a point of pride for its organizers, partners, and the nation at large. During the recent state visit of the Jamaican Prime Minister, the possibility of inter-island school sport exchange was raised with the success of the SSFL coming in for particular praise. Dr. Gadsby Dolly says sport remains a key prong of our continued growth. So what you have here in the intercall is what we are aspiring to for all the other sporting areas that our students can be involved in so that the holistic development of the citizen that will carry Trinidad and Tobago on an upward trajectory towards Vision 2030. That's the mandate of the Ministry of Education. That's what we are aiming to do. That will be realized because our citizens are not just academic. The Education Minister underlined the importance of support systems in the coming season. When your child is on that football field, in one of these games, just knowing that a parent is there Sometimes it might be a grandparent, it might be a cousin, an aunt, but somebody is there cheering them on, rooting for them. That is a critical thing in a child's life. It makes a difference. Whether they win, lose, or draw, it makes a difference. When your child has support, and we are asking all of the parents, if you personally can't make it, send somebody. Let that child feel supported. It will make a difference in how they feel about themselves and the value they put on, their self, on themselves. She called on communities throughout the country to renew their support for their neighborhood student-athletes. Jovan Ravello, TTT Sport.